A up me ducks. Just trying to do a smooth fade here for you. Yeah. That's white leaves. Ah, oh, I did it. Oh, I need five hands. Well, maybe one extra one. A up me ducks and drakes. <laughs> I've only just seen this shirt now. I can see myself on the mark. I shouldn't have worn a vest under it. Ah, never mind. It's too late now. I can't start undressing now, can I? Come on. Chris and Linda, good to see you back. Right, I want to start. I'm feeling mellow. I know Sunday's always mellow, but I'm really feeling it tonight. Looking forward to it. It's so exciting picking the tunes. No world premieres tonight, but they're all good ones. Exciting, in a mellow way. I want to start with, um, there's a couple of tunes, no, at least three. Birchall Davis, compositions my main man, Paul Birchall. Um, he's the uh, longest standing co-writer in my life, very important person in my life, Mr. Paul Birchall. So this is the first of at least three. And this is uh, East of East. Thank you. 
East of East from the Hysteria CD. Good evening, Tim. We're in Brisbane. And Coolio is back. You're very welcome, mate. We've been missing you. I hope things are all right. It sounds like a little bit tough, but you're still trucking. I take it. Good to see you, mate. Yeah, nice full house. Excellent behavior. And the bar is busy, I see. <laughs> As I say, it was exciting uh, trawling the vaults and uh, going through the, the library, deciding what to play. This is one that I think I played this early days in lockdown, months and months ago. It's, uh, it's a recording um, we did with Mr. Phil Udall, the King of Stokesley. And, uh, we recorded it in Durham Old Town Hall, which is a beautiful venue. And, uh, managed to recreate a backing track from that evening. It's a uh, Paul McCartney tune.
How about that? We even got a bit of the applause. But I know you guys are applauding. Uh, oh, man. Great tune. My absolute main man, lead vocalist in the classic sax solo show. Member of Wang Chung, member of Cutting Crew. Marvellous human being, fantastic friend. What more can I say? And I'm really hoping I can pull him out of the vaults. This is something that we did together early lockdown o'clock when he was up isolating in Fife and looking after his father-in-law. And uh, we separated straight after our last show, which was in Ennerdale. Big shout out to Ennerdale. You guys are streaming on Tuesday, I know. Um, yeah, we packed the gear away. <laughs> Seems so long ago, early March. Must have been 13th, I think. No, I don't know. It was early March anyway. And I hit the road to uh, come back to North Lincolnshire. And he hit the road to go straight to Fife. And he was there a long time, thoroughly locked down. And so we recorded this separately but together. And it's a beautiful song which he sings absolutely marvellously. So after that big build-up, I'm just hoping that the technology works. Welcome to the shed in Kettle in Fife. Yes, mate. Uh, where well, it's a beautiful day. And uh, as we enter our second year of isolation, <laughs> I thought I'd play um, an appropriate tune. It's called um, Still Crazy After All These Years. <laughs> Met my old lover on the street last night. She seemed so glad to see me, and I just smiled. So we talked about the old times, and we drank ourselves a beer. I'm still crazy after all these years. I'm still crazy. The kind of man who tends to socialize. I seem to lean on old familiar ways. And I hear no fool for love songs that whisper in my head. I'm still crazy after all these years. I'm still crazy after all. It's all gonna fade I know it's all gonna Crazy. I'm still 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 crazy
I'm still crazy after all these years. Thank you very much. Oh, that's all I can say. Oh, <laughs> beautiful stuff. Love that boy. Love that song. And uh, I was trying to do kind of justice to or some kind of paying homage to the Michael Brecker solo, which is uh, on the record. <laughs> and then that was my favorite sax solo. And then he did it again on the um, concert in Central Park recording and played a longer solo so i kind of tried to combine the two oh man so beautiful michael brecker miss that boy so yeah exciting me and gareth as somebody just pointed out jen is coming to see us at hull truck in a few weeks time that's a thursday 12th of november something like that it's all on the website anyway and next sunday a week today in fact we're at uh at my local, just up the road, in the Ropery Hall in Barton on Humber, me and Gareth. And check him out, garethbolton.com. He's got EPs, he's got pictures of him. <laughs> he's a great boy. And I'm so looking forward to to that show. Maybe I'll see some of you there. In fact, Kev, you, you said, I think you said you were coming, didn't you? Anyway, superb. Thank you, Gareth. Oh, great. What we got, what we got, what we got.
That's called togetherness. That's what we need. That's what we've got on a Saturday and Sunday night togetherness. Another Birchall Davis composition. That's another one from Hysteria, I think. I sometimes get these references wrong. So you need that guitar back, eh? I'm seeing him next Sunday, mate. I'll have a word. Oh, dear. That's the power of the internet. Now you know where your guitar is. It looks in good condition still. Mm. Oh, dear. It's a beautiful guitar as well. Ouch. After the gig next Sunday, I'll get it off him and I'll, I'll post it off to you in Brisbane. I know what I want to do. I get sort of hung up on particular songs. It happens with old standards, old jazz standards. I just start playing them. I'm supposed to be doing my long notes and my scales and my studies. And I just kind of, without subconsciously, launch into a tune. So I was playing this one earlier today, and I thought, I'll do this for the guys from the Zen Den. Because it's another apt one, appropriate. Because even, even in lockdown, even we're tier one, tier two, tier 99, whatever we are, we're in Brisbane, we're in a truck in Immingham, but we still manage to be close together somehow don't we? And that's a good, that's a good feeling. The nearness of you. nearness of you 
I ain't got a clue who wrote that. That's a good old tune, though. Mm hmm. Well, I wonder if we can summon Helen Watson from the vaults. This is also one that we uh, <coughs> hooked up and did together on the live stream a fair few months ago. It's an Aretha Franklin tune. A young Aretha, this was. Actually, I don't think she wrote it again, but we knew it by her. Maybe she did. Hoagie Carmich Carmichael, thank you very much. And now we need you, Pat and Christian, to find out who wrote Love Is. That's <laughs> if we can find Helen. Somewhere on the hard drive. Come on, girl. Snake, very clearly daytime for me, but um, we're time traveling here, aren't we? A one, two, three. <laughs>
Love is the only thing that matters After Yes, Helen Watson. <laughs> Superb. Wonderful, that girl. She is a resident of Burnham on Crouch in Essex. But next Friday, she will be in residence in North Lincolnshire. And we'll be hopping over the water, in the River Humber, to go to Cottingham to play at the Civic Hall which has been converted to a, a COVID-safe venue. So instead of seating 400, we'll be seating 80. Very, very safely. Looking forward to that. There's still a few tickets left for that. Cottingham next Friday. So then I'll be back in the Zen Den, streaming on the Saturday, and then down at the Ropery Hall Sunday with Gareth. And I think the Ropery Hall will stream that on their channel on the Sunday, I think. Half past seven show. Yeah, that would be an exciting weekend. Two of my besties. Beautiful. I don't want to overlook the little tin whistle. Actually, mine's made of aluminium. The humble whistle. So simple. Actually, it is very simple, but it's still... You've got to blow it right, because if you blow it wrong, it can sound pretty horrible. I shouldn't have said that. I'm tempting fate, I think is the phrase. Hey, come on, we're amongst friends. <laughs> Definitely amongst friends. I still don't want to cock it up, though. This is the way you warm up a whistle. Just blow a load of warm air down it. I want to play for you a tune written by... A Wonderful friend of mine, oh, no longer with us, Mr. Jim Diamond. It's called The Road to Florida Gary, which we recorded on our Blue Shoes Live at the Shed CD. Not this shed, it was a shed in Brawby up in North Yorkshire. But also a quality shed, that one. Now, come on, we're still allowed to go to gigs. We've checked it all out. It's all legal. <laughs> but yeah, we will try and stream that one. And... Uh, so this one we recorded, just the two of us, me and Jim, and then uh, took it into the studio. And uh, our mate Peter put some beautiful strings on it. So there's a couple of tunes tonight with like magical moments. And they're both the ones that Peter played the strings on. So um, watch out. They're sun coming out moments, I think. See what you think.
Road to Florida, Gary. <laughs> I love that so much. But I do realise that when I remixed that backing track to play to it, I did rather go crazy with the the string levels. I just went, ah. And I can still hear my original whistle, which is spilled onto the guitar. Mike, if you're listening on headphones, <laughs> you'll have heard that as well. But hey, who cares? This is not... Um, Audiophile hi-fi recording. This is <laughs> Snakey playing a few tunes to his mates down the Zen Den. <laughs> yeah, it is a beautiful tune. We call James Dad Spider-Man, Kev. <laughs> oh no, the jokes are coming out again. Yeah, Conkers are supposed to keep the spiders away, aren't they? Joe has a few up in his bedroom. Yeah, we miss Jim. Oh, I'd like to meet Harry the spider. That sounds good. <laughs> Tim's at the bar now. Fantastic. He's getting into the swing of things. Hey, Tim, you need to spread the word over in Australia, mate. We're trying to sp spread the word and get a few more subscribers and fans and uh, participants down the Zen Den. Kevin's bar takings have been dropping. <laughs> yeah, come on, we all need doubles. Who's going up to Stokesley? Harry the Spider. <laughs> Excellent behaviour. So it's another, another jazz standard. That, and this one, I do know who wrote this. Do we ever get an answer to the uh, Arita tune? It doesn't matter. But I know that Thelonious Monk wrote this. I love Thelonious Monk. And uh, such a moody, beautiful tune. It's called Round Midnight. Mm-hmm. 
Around midnight, Thelonious Monk. Kind of feels like midnight tonight. It gets dark so early, man. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Happy days. Cookies in the morning. Yeah, man, that bar's been busy tonight. Oh, dear me. Last orders now, then. <laughs> one, one for the road. One for the road. Take care on your way home. And some of us are actually on the road next week. Can't believe it. Helen is trucking up from Essex. Gareth is trucking over from... Begins with their Macclesfield. My journeys are relatively short. Let's see if the car still works. So listen, guys, if I don't see you on Friday in Cottingham, I'll see you down the Zen Den Saturday night. Usual time, 7 o'clock stream. And then Sunday night, up the ropery. Live in the house and on the ropery YouTube channel. 7.30. So I want to finish off tonight with a, another Birchall Davis composition. This one is called Falling. It's from the Missing You CD. And uh, it's another one with the strings, as I mentioned. And it's, this one's... It's, it's the chorus. It's not It's not even so much the strings. It's, it's that beautiful harmonies from uh, Birchie. When we hit the chorus on this, to I just get pins and needles and hair standing on it, and it is like the sun's come out. Um, even though I like the verses and the bridge, I'm just waiting for that chorus. <sighs> See what you think. Falling.
falling. Ah, due to get the sun out. I just wanted more choruses. If we ever, if we ever remake that track, we've got to have at least a double chorus at the end. Oh, Mr. Paul Birchall, thank you, mate. And thank you all, and massive thank you to Helen Watson, and to Gareth Moulton, and to Sally, the manager, and the everything, and Joe, the technical wonder boy, and you guys for being here. Awesome behavior. <laughs> thank you so much for, it's just great to share this time together. I love it. So you take care. I hope your week goes all right in this worrying and confusing time. And I look forward to seeing some of you in the flesh and all of you on the screen on Saturday. And uh, take care. Be kind to each other. Go steady. Stay safe. Look after yourselves. <laughs>